All of this money goes directly to the Johnson County Long-Term Recovery Committee, and no one knows more about what that's like right now than Shannon Deskins. She's been on the ground in Johnson County all week talking to people who have been affected by this event. I'm going to give you the phone number one more time because Shannon's going to be talking for a while to a very special guest, 606-793-4003. Cindy, thank you, and you're correct. Every single day since this happened, I was in Johnson County trying to help tell the story because that's one of the hardest things is we can show you pictures and, and we can show you video and we can describe it, but it's so hard unless you're standing there. So I asked some people to come in that actually lost everything, and this one's going to be tough, but, but hang with us. Wendy Martin and your daughter, Marquita. You, we have seen the pictures of this one particular row of mobile homes that were there. There were nine, ten of them, a lot. And that is wiped clean now. And you guys, along with your mother and your brother, were four of those. Yes, we were. So tell me, tell me what happened that evening, because you weren't actually there when it started. Right. I was at work. Um, my brother had called and said, uh, I, I couldn't really understand it, but he said something about the water had made it to his building, and then I lost service. So and it, I, I was in town. I didn't even you know, know it was raining out there. Um, it usually takes me 10 minutes to get home. It took me actually 20. Um, I get home, and it's already at the back of my house, and I ran in to get my fur bag. I have a dog and some cats, and I got them and took them to my uh, Tahoe and went, back, went to go back in, and by the time I did that, within a matter of like two minutes, it was at my steps. Um, and I just had to, you know, get that. I got them and, and left with what I had on. So at that point, you guys sought higher ground to where you had nothing to do but watch. I didn't even watch. I couldn't. I, I left. Um she, she was at work. She works at Community Trust Bank in Paintsville. And um, I was calling her, telling her to come home, you know, because we didn't know how bad it was. We just knew it was, you know, the roads to the house was getting bad. So uh, I called her and said, you know, I said, you need to get home if you, you know, you're coming to the house because you won't be able to later. And... Um, I thank Daryl because he, he didn't let her go right then, thank God. I mean, and, and I thank Daryl for not letting her, you know, be gone then. So, you know, I called her back and I was like, hurry, 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 because I was on my way out there. And uh, what I seen just going to my house was horrible. And when I got there, I called her and I said, just stay where you're at. She had made it to a convenience store beside Hutch Chevrolet. I said, just stay where you're at. Don't come. Because uh, I sure didn't want her, you know, out there as it was happening. You know, and the more I talk to you and every conversation that you and I have, I find something else out about your story that, that I thought it couldn't get any worse. I mean, I don't, I don't mean it bad, but you've, you've really taken a hit. And one of the things, the first thing was the other three mobile homes, and it was your brother, your mother, and your daughter, are still there. Yeah. But yours isn't. No, mine can't be found anywhere. Nowhere. So it's, it's, we're not talking about items that she can't find. Her home is gone. Yeah. And, you know, that's one of the things that we were saying, well, have you found anything? Okay. And you did. I did. I found my jewelry box about a mile away from where I was at, uh, where I lived at. And I, I haven't opened it yet. Uh, I, mean, I can see some jewelry coming out of it. And there's jewelry inside it. And I know you, you can open it. I, I mean, you can open it. I just hadn't been ready to open it yet. But you can. You can show it. I don't know if we can show this. And it's going to fall. I don't want to do it. But we'll, po we'll post some pictures. It's, it's going to fall. But here it is. I mean, the contents of a jewelry box that were found a mile away from a home that doesn't exist anymore. There's my, my girls. This is, this is my daughter, and um, I want to say thank you, Bob. Well, because we were we were transplants here for 13 years. They graduated from Mullins Elementary. Um, they graduated from Pike Central. You know, and and I worked at the hospital here for two years, and. Um, I think the, everything you guys are doing for us up here, you know, you're, you guys are our family just as much as our Johnson County family is, and I appreciate it. But, uh, you know, just knowing that I've got their rings that I've had since they were babies is, is great. And one other thing that you said you were looking for, and 
that's what we're trying to, and I'm sorry it's tough, we're trying to paint the picture to those who are out there, how little that you do can make a difference because they, they have to rebuild everything everything and you're looking for things that can't be replaced um, my best friend of 18 years had passed away and I lost her ashes those things can't be replaced but there are things that we can do whether it's it's helping them get back on their feet whether it's donating money whether it's stuff to help clean up every little bit counts guys please donate